What's up, O'Brien Army? So today, I'm I'm making a video, a message called "Love Shouldn't Hurt." So I've got a I got a pamphlet called "Abuse Escalation of Abuse," and it's from the Tribal Victim Services. So I'm gonna read this pamphlet to you. So. Escalation of Abuse. Domestic violence is an attempt to gain and keep power and control over an intimate, intimate partner through coercive and harmful behaviors. In most abusive relationships, the tactics of an abusive partner will escalate over time. Often, survivors find themselves experiencing something they never thought their partner would or even could do. What is escalation? Escalation is when, is when abuse gets worse, either suddenly or gradually. Escalation can be a transition from one, of, one type of abuse to another, or it can be similar types of behavior increasing in, in increasing in severity. Gradual escalation happens more slowly and might look like insults that steadily become crueler and more hurtful. This tactic can more can normalize the abuse and occur in a way that the victim doesn't notice as the abuse increases. Sudden escalation. This happens when abusive behaviors quickly become more severe and might look like an emotionally abusive partner turning to physical violence for the first time. While you, while you can never know with certainty, some red flags to watch out for may predict whether a relationship that starts seemingly happy and healthy is, is likely to become abusive. The red flags. Very intense and quick involvement at the start of a relationship. Accusing you of flirting or having an affair with others without evidence or a reason. Extreme jealousy and possessiveness. Mood swings and episodes of intense anger. Talking about you in a demanding way to other people. People who, who experience emotional abuse often end up experiencing physical abuse too. Uh, un, usually, an abuser will, will start a relationship as loving and, and full of intimacy to gain, to gain a bond with their partner and ultimately gain control over them. Then the emotional and psychological abuse starts, making the partner feel isolated, worthless, and like they deserve the abuse. Physical abuse includes unwanted contact, physical or sexual contact like choking, shaking, strangulation, burning, biting, slapping, spitting, pushing, kicking, and pulling hair. Withholding care. The abuser prevents their partner from eating, having access to medical care, or taking necessary medication. Using weapons. Weaponizes objects around them, such as a belt or a wooden spoon. They may even throw things at their partner. Harming others. Hurting others in the household, such as children or pets. Increasing threats. Many survivors of, of domestic abuse report taking a wait and see approach to the abuse, saying that if the abuse worsens, it will lessen their feelings toward, towards their abuser and cause them to want to leave. However, they, 
the longer the longer a survivor stays, the more power and control the abuser may gain. The situation may then become more dangerous and harder for, for the victim to leave. Lethal escalation. Some partners, some abusive partners will stop at nothing to gain power and control over their partners. If you're experiencing escalation and your partner has threatened to kill you, taking this threat seriously and developing a safety plan to help you and your family survive is essential. And there, and there is a list of services here, but they're tribal services, but I'm gonna tell you them anyway. Where to get help? The National Domestic Violence Hotline, 1-800-799-7233, SAFE, www.ndvh.org, or the Strong Hearts Native Helpline, 844-7NATIVE, 1-844-762-8400. Or strongheartshelpline.org. And this is coming from the Tribal Victim Services. And remember, love shouldn't hurt. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, and click the bell notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.